and welcome back to The Oily Life. If you're new here, my name is Tanya and I run a natural bath and body business called The Oily Life. And today we're gonna to be making some shampoo bars using the Stevenson Cindapore base. It's a great base for making shampoo bars or shaving soaps, anything like that. It's great for beginners. Um, it is um, neutral, so it is um, a great base to use for a variety of different products, neutral as far as its pH. And we're gonna be making shampoo bars today and we're gonna be adding in some ingredients I haven't used in shampoo bars uh, before. We're gonna be adding in some cocoa medropole beatine. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what we're gonna roll with. Uh, this is a detergent and it uh, adds some foaming and bubbling, so good lather uh, to products. So I thought this would be perfect for a shampoo bar and we may add in some argan oil as well. Uh, we gotta kind of play around with our percentages and see what works with the base. And then it's gonna be scented with lavender and eucalyptus. Those are great oils for your hair, plus they just smell amazing. Uh, so perfect for a shampoo bar. So come along with me as we make our shampoo bars. All right, so we are ready to make our shampoo bars. And I don't know if that's gonna focus there, but we're gonna use the Stevenson Cindapore base, which it's not a, a soap. Um, it's just a base of detergents and other things that is um, pH neutral. So lower pH than regular soap. Um, so it's gonna be really gentle in a shampoo bar. So I have eight ounces here in my container and I'm gonna go ahead and just heat that up in 30 second intervals in the microwave until it is completely melted. Now this base does melt pretty quick um, just because of um, the different things it's made up of. It has a pretty low um, melting point so you do wanna keep an eye on it when you're melting because it'll melt faster than like a melt and pour soap base. All right, so we have that all melted down. There's a couple chunks in there but when I stir it, those will come out. And then the manufacturer's recommendation is to not go over uh, 3% with additives. So what we're gonna be doing with the additives today is we're gonna be using lav uh, lavender and eucalyptus essential oils. Those are really uh, great essential oils to use in a shampoo bar. Um, the eucalyptus has cleansing properties and the lavender is great for any skin, so great for your scalp, very soothing. And then we're also going to be adding in some cocomidropol beatine. I'm probably pronouncing that very wrong. But this is basically a um, detergent. It's a natural surfactant and it's going to add lather to our shampoo bar. So we're going to do 0 0.08 of the Coco Medropole in here. Which is a very small amount, but it'll, um, it'll make a big difference. I'll try to be careful pouring that in because it's, like I said, a small amount. Stop right there, I'm almost to 0 0.08, but don't wanna overdo it. And then along with that, we're using those same amounts, 0 0.08, for both the lavender and the eucalyptus essential oils. And that'll bring us to our 3% additive rate. Now we are gonna be slightly over that because I'm doing a colorant of, I'm trying some, can you see it there? spinach powder and I just have it dispersed. I just have it dispersed in some isopropyl alcohol and we're gonna see how this uh, works out as a colorant in these. I have never tried this before in a mountain pour product. It could be a horrible fail or it could work out great. So we're just gonna kind of see because I wanted a more uh, natural looking colorant. And then we're just gonna get that all mixed together. The color is gonna be pretty light, but I'm okay with that. You don't really want some deep color when you're 
putting it on your head. So that looks good there. And this is pretty translucent right now, but it will turn more opaque as it um, hardens. We're gonna get our mold here. And we're just gonna get this poured in. I love the combination of lavender and eucalyptus together. This already smells amazing. So that is super fun. You can see I got a couple little chunks of the spinach powder, but not too bad. That won't hurt anything. There we go. And then I'm just gonna give this a spritz to get rid of any air bubbles. And we're gonna let this set up um, probably about two hours. These harden up a lot quicker than a melt and pour soap bar do does. Uh, but we'll kind of see. So we'll come back once they're completely cooled and I'll pop them out of the mold for you. All right, and they have completely cooled. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it out of the mold. And that's how they turned out. Really happy with the color. This one does have some like little spe some speckles on it because I didn't get the spinach powder mixed in as well as I should have. Um, I imagine that this was probably the last one I poured, so the other ones won't be quite so speckly, but love the color, so we'll be trying that again. Smells really nice with the lavender and the eucalyptus. And I've done a test batch of these as far as adding the surfactant in and they do um, and they do lather really well. I probably should have let these cool it a little more because it broke off a little bit there, but very happy with how these turned out. And I've been using only shampoo bars for about two years now. And I haven't really missed regular shampoo. My hair is really healthy. So this is a great alternative and an eco-friendly alternative to uh, regular shampoo. No plastic waste, uh, lasts a really long time, and is really gentle on your hair. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and coming along with me as we made this shampoo bar using essential oils and natural colorants and the Stevenson's Cindapore base. It's a super easy project so if you've been interested in trying shampoo bars this is definitely an easy one if you're just starting out. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!